Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. I hope today has been treating you well. In today's video I am going to be doing a full face of my cheapest makeup. Now some of these products that I've got out on my table in front of me are firm favourites. Some of these you will have heard me ramble on about so many times because they are my favourites and some of them I haven't used in about a year. Some of them I haven't used in the longest time so I can't remember what I think of them. Either way, I'm just going to dive straight on in. I highly recommend that you get yourself a beverage. Mine is a Cherry Cordial, of course, and I'm just going to start with a foundation. And this is one of the products that I haven't tested in the longest time, and I cannot remember what I think of it. This is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. Now this does actually look like a really decent colour for me, so I am hopeful. I'm hopeful that this is going to turn out semi all right i can't i just can't think the last time i used this i can't think what i thought of it so let's see i'm going to use a brush to try and blend this into my skin nicely yeah that color is decent that color's okay so why have i not been using this that's my question <laughs> i feel like there's got to be a reason why i haven't picked this up in 12 months, maybe more than that. So I actually feel like from a distance, that looks okay. Close up though, that's looking very, very textured. Now I do have dry skin, but my skin has actually been okay recently. It's not been really, really like awfully textured and dry and things like that, but that is looking a little bit flapjacky as, as I say there's a few areas that are just looking a little bit textured it's grabbing onto a few little areas that's the reason why I haven't used this the color is great I would say if you have more normal skin not all that textured but just regular skin not too oily not too dry you would probably quite like this where I have got dry skin and products sort of grab on it is doing that <laughs> it's not looking too cute close up but if you just you know don't don't zoom in I think that that doesn't look too bad considering the price point doesn't look too bad for concealer the most affordable one in my collection is also my favourite concealer, the one that I am always rambling on about, the one that I'm not going to ramble on about today because if you've seen literally any of my videos you know how much I love this concealer. This is the 17 Second Skin Enhancing Concealer and truly I think I haven't got long left with this tube and then I need to go and purchase another one. Another one. It's so good. So I'm just going to put this around my eyes I don't want to mess around with this um tinted hydrator I don't want to mess around with it too much so just going to tap this in where I need it just around my eyes for bronzer this is another one that I haven't used in forever I actually and another one I can't remember what I think of it this is the Relove super bronzer powder this is in the shade desert and it looks dark so I'm just going to use quite a light hand because I don't want don't want to go crazy I have some other things <laughs> I have some other things that I'm wanting to do today I don't want to look too crazy so light layers nice little light layers this is matte so I'm hoping it's going to go over this incredibly sort of dry looking skin okay keep your fingers crossed for me okay I feel like that was built up really nicely it's giving a nice amount of color I definitely like went in cautiously though and it is very matte like I feel like because I have dry skin have I mentioned got dry skin where the skin is so incredibly dry I do like to add in nice glowy products I prefer a bronzer to just have a little bit of something in it to 
help my skin look a little bit more glowy. This one is fine, the colour's nice, it's blended nicely. If you're in the market for a very, very affordable bronzer, um, powder bronzer, this is a nice enough powder bronzer. It's just very, very matte. I'm going to try and like even this up a little bit with the blush. The blush. Essence. The blush. No bells and whistles here. It's just the blush. And this is in 80 Breezy. So take a little bit of this. Stamp this onto the cheeks. And this is a matte bronzer. A blush. <laughs> a matte blush. But it's almost got something to it where it just adds a little something to the cheeks and gives a little bit of something. I feel like that blush has really just rescued that whole base. It's adding a nice little bit of glow. I really really like these blushes from Essence. I think that for the price they are very very good blushes they add a nice little glow to the skin but not too much like i feel like if you had oily skin if you had normal to oily skin you would probably still like these it's not too much it's not too glowy it definitely doesn't replace a highlight but it just adds a nice little something if you didn't then want to go in with highlight as well i am quickly going to go off and do my brows i've only brought a brow pencil over though I wonder why I did that. I will go ahead and try and figure out which of my brow gels is my most affordable one and I will be right back. <laughs> okay so the brow combo that I just figured out was my most affordable one is the e.l.f. instant lift waterproof brow pencil. I prefer the waterproof one over the regular one. Ooh both of the same price and the most affordable brow gel in my collection is this one which has become a firm favourite since I tested it a little while ago. This is the collection Incredible Brow Brow Glue Extra Strong Hold and I have this in Dark Brunette. It's ever so, ever so slightly tinted so it actually like coats the hairs and properly sticks them down. The firmest <laughs> Hold in a brow gel that I have ever ever come across so I am gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of that bronzer through my crease because you know if we're talking affordable makeup use your products in more than one way so a bit of bronzer through the crease instead of an eyeshadow is a really great way to get a little bit more money out of the products that you've already got so it does just add a little bit more definition it sort of adds that shadow back into your eyes while we're here i may as well add a little bit of the blush as well just using the same brush just tap a little bit of that through the crease as well to add a little bit of a pinky bronzy look i don't know what i'm talking about in case you're wondering <laughs> i never have any idea what i'm talking about i just think that that looks nice sue me so that is all blended out and because it's me i need a liquid liner <laughs> i wear a liquid liner every single day and the most affordable one in my collection is the mua intense color liquid liner now i have got this incredible purple one out this comes in loads of different colors truly loads and loads of different colors but this one just caught my eye today this is ultra violet so i am gonna go ahead and do a wing i will say i don't love this product i know that this isn't an absolute firm favorite for me the tip is just a little bit big a little bit clunky to use it's too firm and too difficult for me to use i'm not very i'm not very good at makeup i'm not very good at liquid liner and i do struggle with this product so i'm going to get really close up to my mirror and concentrate wish me the best okay so i actually think that that is the best outcome that i've ever had from using one of these mua liquid liners 
it's difficult. It's difficult for me. I like more of a flexible sort of brush rather than a very firm sort of felt tip. Um, but it's personal preference. You might prefer that. And I, I actually think I've managed to make that look fairly decent for the mascara. If I show you this, then you will see how well loved this mascara is. I really, really love it. But look at the state of <laughs> that packaging. That should say 17 Maximum Curl Mascara, but it actually says mm, Curl <laughs> because I've used it so much because I love it so much all of the writing has come off. So I am going to go ahead and do a few layers of this. Now I will say this is another one that's been in my collection for quite a while. It is definitely past its best but this is so dramatic and volumizing and I've already got that all over my lid. I need to concentrate. Be right back. So like I was saying before I had to go off and concentrate, this mascara and like I said it is past its prime really it's sort of starting to dry out a little bit but so dramatic really lengthening really thickening the curve of the brush fits around your eye so per or fits around my eye <laughs> fits around my eye so perfectly that it really grabs every lash and really coats it with so much product that it makes it look so like thick and dramatic and I think that this is like £2.25, £2.75, something like that. So incredibly affordable and genuinely one of my favourite ones. Lasts really really well throughout the day. I have worn this through long days at work also you can like use a little liner brush to scratch the bit off your lid if you get it all over your eyelid like me um, because i do that all the time uh speaking of affordable there is no lip liner more affordable than these new ones from elf the cream glide lip liner i have this one today in pinky swear so i need to sharpen this <laughs> Do I know where my sharpener is? Absolutely not. <laughs> my lips are so incredibly dry today, so hopefully this won't <laughs> accentuate that. This lip liner is actually one of my favourites. Like, I find myself reaching for this so, so much, this colour in particular. I just love it. I actually think that if I were to get married, I would probably wear this lip liner. I just love this colour so, so much. If you haven't been here for a while, in September, I always post what I would wear for my wedding makeup if I was getting married this year, something like that. A more concise name, but something like that. And I genuinely think that this will be the lip liner that I use in that video. I love it so much. And then I was trying to think like, lipstick but I'm just really not a lipstick kind of gal and this is the most affordable lip not lip liner like other lip product <laughs> that I own and again this is two pounds two UK pounds so affordable and genuinely my favorite lip balm on the market at the moment this is the MUA Hydra Juice Peptide Lip Balm and this is in Watermelon Sorbet so the colour doesn't necessarily show up like this. If I put a little bit on the back of my hand, you'll be able to see. It's not this colour. It's not incredibly, incredibly pigmented. It's got a little bit of colour to it, but nothing crazy. Try and even that out a bit so it doesn't look bonkers on my hand there. But it has got a little bit of colour to it, but it's not really going to show up all that much on the lips. I'm going to try and scoop that off there because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> It's only off my own hand. Like Hydra Juice, like the name of it just perfectly describes how that feels on the lips. It's so lovely and hydrating. It's really thin. It's not like the other e.l.f. versions of these. What were they? Like the Squeeze Me 
lip balms. They're not like that. These are much thinner. They're almost more like a lip oil feeling. Really, really liquidy feeling. But I love them. And they're so nice and hydrating. The colour is just a light little wash of colour. As you can see, it's not like, you know, if I had a red one, it's not going to give me red lips. So, so lovely. The biggest fan. The biggest fan. And that is everything. I will put on screen here how much all of this cost me because I don't know off the top of my head. Like maybe around about £20. Maybe a little bit more with like that brow glue and everything. Maybe a little bit more. Put it on screen. So, so affordable. And apart from the um, foundation tinted hydrator, which I do feel like now that it is sort of sunk in, looks acceptable. I'm not going to immediately take this off. I feel like it looks really, really nice. I like the colour. I like the colour of the eyeliner. Obviously matching my spring jumper. I think that that has all turned out really, really nice. I would love to know down below what your favourite, most affordable makeup product is. Are any of the products that I've used here today your favourites as well. Please also let me know if you have picked up the 17 Second Skin Enhancing Concealer off my recommendation because genuinely I talk about this so much and I hope and I pray that you go and pick it up the next time you need a new concealer. Obviously if you don't need one you don't need to go and buy it but if you're in the market for one, if you're looking for a recommendation, please take my word for it, go and try that concealer because I think that it is absolutely fantastic and it is the most affordable one in my collection. It's just incredible. So let me know if any of these are your favourites as well or recommend some more very very affordable favourites down below. I am all ears. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up but until next time thank you ever so much for watching. Bye!